The broadband portion of the infrastructure bill is $65 billion. And each state is guaranteed a minimum of $100 million, but I think Virginia will end up receiving multiples of that. Um, every state will probably do it a little bit differently. In Virginia, there's been a pretty um, sophisticated operation run essentially from the governor's administration under Governor Northam and previous governors, and I expect Governor-elect Youngkin will do the same thing, where the, the administration has a, a, a pretty good handle on where broadband deployment is strong in Virginia and where there are gaps. And so the administration then works not only with local governments, but also with um, electrical co-ops and broadband providers to fill in the gaps. And I expect that the dollars that will flow to Virginia uh, will flow um, and the, uh, the administration, the state administration of Governor-elect Youngkin will then be deploying the dollars to help um, fill gaps. So the, probably the right way for local governments to access the funds is to make their case to the state government. Um, uh, Governor Northam announced with some American Rescue Plan monies that we provided to the state in March, a sizable initiative that I believe would call for investments that would uh, bring affordable broadband to about 250,000 homes in Virginia. And that was done before the infrastructure bill. So I think we have uh, this, this sort of once in a lifetime investment opportunity in the infrastructure bill to truly bring high quality and affordable broadband to everyone in Virginia. Um, but for local governments, I think the way to access those dollars is to make the case uh, to the incoming administration about where there are gaps and then work with the administration to, to utilize the dollars to help uh, make sure everybody's got coverage.